Welcome back, Penguins. Thanks for helping us close out February and, and usher in a great March. Now let's head to Sabrina and Emmett in this SNAN studio. Thanks, Juliana, and welcome back, Penguins. Today is Monday, February 28th, and it's National Tooth Fairy Day. Really? I heard it was National Public Sleeping Day today. Well, you are correct. It's National Public Sleeping Day, but we're here at SNAN thought that it was not such a good idea to glorify public sleeping here at school. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. I agree. So let's go with National Tooth Fairy Day. After all, the Tooth Fairy is the hardest working fairy in the business. Well, let's stand and recite our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing for our proud Penguin Pledge. Respect, Respect responsibility, and citizenship to they bring out the best in me and you. Trustworthiness and being fair helps to show others that we really care. We all know what's right. We all know what's good. We all do the things that we know we should. Please remain standing as we reflect on the week ahead. You may be seated. Thanks, Penguins. We've got a busy week ahead, so let's take care of some business so so our Penguins can get to work. Let's head to the Good News News Studio for a feel-good story. Thanks, Sabrina. Today's headline, using the sun to fight food waste through innovative food dehydrators. Farming households in India are earning extra money for their food that goes unsold by putting in it th through solar food de dehydrators. Tens of thousands of tons of food in India goes to, to waste every year, often because it doesn't look appealing enough or because there's no access to refrigeration to keep it fresh. Normally, this would be simply thrown away, but now women in the in the west of India are being hired to operate specially designed solar conduction dyers that suck every detectable trace of moisture out of the food within just four hours. They've claimed they've prevented 350,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere and 40,000 tons of food waste through the use of these dryers. Now back to you guys. What a great use of resources. Now to the SNAN Weather Studios. Take it away, Isabel. Thanks, guys. Wow, what a change. Today's high will be about 15 degrees colder than yesterday. Well, these things happen in paradise. Let's hope it doesn't last too long. Today's high should be just about 70 degrees, and there's a slight chance of rain at 15%. A 15 degree change is, in temperature is a big deal. But do you know the largest ever change in temperature was over 100 degrees in less than 24 hours? A wind event pushed the temperature at the town of Loma from minus 54 degrees 
at 9 a.m. on January 14, 1972, to 49 degrees by 8 a.m. on January 15. The 103 degree rise is the greatest change in temperature ever officially measured on Earth within a 24 hour period. Now back to our amazing studios. Well, it's Monday, so that means we have our word of the week. Today's word is coherent. Raise your hand and tell your teacher if you think you know the meaning. The word coherent means logical and consistent. You can use it in a sentence, Emmett. Mrs. Sonsini presented the lesson in a clear and coherent way. This made it very easy to understand. We all know Miss Sonsini is an awesome teacher, so that sentence makes sense. Great job, Emmett. Thanks, Sabrina. You were amazing as well. Okay, let's get these amazing penguins back to work. Remember to be kind, penguins. Have a great day.